and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel and you can find me on Instagram at The Lipstick Living. Please like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel. So today's video, I am just going over my August tending list in the Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets Goal Planner. This is what I use to plan out my goals. I have been using these for four or five years. So I have been using them for quite a while and I love them. I think they're super helpful and I definitely have made progress on my goals. So for August, I put as my encouraging words as just a little bit is okay. I hope that that sentiment just helps me realize that even doing one or two things on my list is still reaching towards that goal and still working towards the finish line. And some of these goals don't really have a finish line, you know, like grow, growing my relationships, um, things like that. Like I'm not really, there's not a finish line to it, but working on them little by little does add up and does help me achieve my goal. So my priority this month, I put as social media because I want to get back on track with my posting. So my monthly action items, I'll go ahead and start with these. The first one is mail tape to Nana, my grandma, and then start December daily. So I wanted to start my December daily project so that I can finish the 2021 album before this next album. So that way I'm giving myself a good five months at least to finish my 2021 album before starting on this year's because I'm tired of the albums just like racking up and me, it's, it's stressing me out a little bit because I feel so, so behind because I haven't even finished my 2020 December daily album. So, and I've made more progress on the 2021 album. So I think it'll be easier for me to finish that. And if I have time, I'll go back to my album in 2020 and finish that one as well. But I, I really want to start on this past year and see if I can get that finished up before this next Christmas. And then my next one is plan September socials. So I wanted to have a plan for Instagram post and YouTube videos that I'll be posting in September. I wanted to have that completely done before September starts so that I'm not scrambling and getting behind after September already begins. I've already been doing that the past few months and it's just chaos. And then it makes me feel guilty and I get stressed out that I'm already behind. So I wanna have that plan already made before September starts. And then the next one is post September bullet journal. So I want to have that actually posted before the month starts because I've been posting those like basically in the middle of the month for that month setup. So I want to be able to get on track with that and actually start posting ahead of time. And then the last one for monthly action items is make home organization plan. So I just wanted to write out the, the rooms that need organized and then write out specifically what needs organized. So each section in the room and then break that down and that will be easier to schedule in my planner. So for example, in my guest room, I need to organize my bookshelf so I can plan. That'll probably take me like 30 minutes or less. So I can just, knowing that I can plan that in my schedule and then get things done. And so I think that will be way easier for me to tackle rather than just saying, okay, I'm going to organize that room this weekend. That's not really giving me any direction. It's just too vague and it would be overwhelming to organize the entire room in just one day or one weekend. So I think splitting it up will help. And then my weekly action items are go to the beach. So I do want to make a weekly trip to the beach since I live here and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that every single week. I don't think that I'm going to be able to do that every weekend because sometimes we do other outdoor activities, but I think if I do something on the water, that will count. So I probably should have worded this different, um, but because we like to go kayaking and that's on the water and that's mainly what I meant by this. I wanted to just get outside and do something in nature. So I think that'll count if I go kayaking or if we go biking out on the water, you know, near the water, there's like a little trail near our house that we can bike at that's really pretty and it's on the water. So I think those things will count. And then take a bath, read one book, exercise three times, meal prep, and water my plants. So those are my weekly action items. And then daily, 
I have outside, so that just means getting outside even if it's for five minutes a day. Meditate, read, water, and that just means my intake of water. I wanna get at least 80 ounces a day. And then vitamins, and then bed by nine. So not asleep by nine, but I wanna get into bed by nine. And that way I'll have enough time to decompress and read a little bit before I actually go to sleep. And then my morning routine. I probably should have switched those two, but I didn't really think about it being in order. But I wanna make sure that I complete my morning routine, which is basically I wanna be able to wake up, make coffee, meditate, do some yoga, even if it's just for 10 minutes, and then write in my gratitude journal, write my affirmations, and then read a little bit before getting ready for my day and going to work. So those are my August action items for my goals, and this is my tending list. And I know we're already halfway into August, but I still wanted to post it because I feel like these are really helpful for some people. I used to watch monthly power sheet setups for many from many different people just to give me ideas of action steps that I could do and what I could write in my tending list. So hopefully this is helpful to you. But if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far and I will see you in my next video.